I'm back again and it's time to do a really interesting art activity. It involves some black paint and you're going to need a paintbrush and you're going to need a candle, a white one, not a colored one. This is a Shabbat candle. Do you recognize it? Or like a light colored candle that maybe you've already burnt down and it's empty, something waxy. And you're gonna need a piece of thick paper, um, something like watercolor paper or cardboard. So let's start. First thing you're going to do is, the first thing is, is to take your candle or your candle that's already been used and just draw a design onto your white thick paper. Okay, I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna start with my candle and I'm pressing really hard because I wanna get some of the candle pieces off. I don't know if you can see those little pieces. Yeah, you wanna get some of that wax off. I'm just gonna blow it away. And then I'll make another line, another way. Really use your muscles and grip it really hard with your fingers. I know you're getting really strong finger muscles and just do long lines back and forth on the page. Now I'm going to switch and I'm going to use this one. Whoa, that's so cool because I can hold it with my whole hand with my palm. It's so wide and just do it a few times. So I'm going to lift it up so you can see. We really can't see a picture, can we? All we see are these little white pieces of wax that we rubbed off of the candles because we were using our muscles. But watch what's going to happen next. Okay, so make sure your paper is flat on a table. Maybe put some newspaper underneath so you don't get your table dirty. And we're gonna wipe off all those pieces of wax that we saw or you can use your mouth and blow it like that. Now we get to take our black paint and our brush and dip it in and just wipe the sides a little bit. And now we're going to paint right across our paper. And let's see what happens. Here I go, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Do you see something happening? Hmm, I see something starting to happen. I'm gonna keep going and you keep going too. Back and forth across your paper. We don't need too much paint really. Do you see something starting to happen? What do you see? What are you noticing? I'm noticing something that I couldn't see before I started painting with the black paint. Let me just do a little bit more all the way across. There, look. Do you see my design? Is that cool or what? Do you know why there's those white lines there that the black paint is all around? I think you got it. I think you got it. That's exactly right. Wherever we drew with the wax candles, the paint doesn't stick. It just goes beyond it. And then we end up with a beautiful design. And once it's dried, you can hang it up somewhere in your house. I can't wait to see what you did. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that amazing? It's almost magical. Here's my picture again. And you know what? I used black, but you could use any dark color paint. What would a dark color be? Right, red or blue or green, purple. Anyway, I hope you do this and I hope you have a lot of fun doing it. And I'd love to see what your picture looks like when you're finished it. So send us a picture of your picture. I'd love it. And also you could do a little video if you wanted, just like I did a little video of me doing this. Bye for now, enjoy.